He spent decades on the force, even after being severely beaten by his fellow officers. And if we've learned one thing about the city's new top cop, he's resilient. So help me God. Congratulations. With those words, Michael Cox took on a new title and new responsibility in the city where he was born and raised. And he wasted little time making his vision clear. If we want to meet this moment, we need to come together and successfully change how we please. We'll hold each member of the department accountable for what we ask them to do. But more importantly, you know, we will support them as they meet the community where they are to figure out how it is that they want us to please. Cox knows the damage bad policing can do. In 1995, he was pursuing a murder suspect when he was brutally beaten by fellow officers, an incident that was covered up and one that shaped how he views wearing the badge. You have to be cognizant of the worst part of this job, and I am, right? There's no sugar coating around it. I know. Um, if things go unchecked, we can do bad things. Before returning home to become the department's 44th commissioner, Cox was police chief in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We traveled there earlier this month to dig into the challenges he faced and what that could tell us about his policing style. Every person we spoke with said the same thing. He didn't get the support he needed to implement his vision for community policing. It didn't work because they didn't let him do but he, he was willing. And they all thought with that support, the results could be very different. As for rooting out bad apples, the woman who helped bring Cox to Ann Arbor offered this. But I don't think that he has much tolerance for um, cops who are, are, are not following policy, for cops who are brutalizing the public for cops who are lying. Cox also got high marks in Ann Arbor for always being available and out in the community. But Ann Arbor is a much smaller city, so how much he will do here, still unknown. He offered this today as a clue to what he at least intends to do. Transparency, accountability, procedural justice, equity and inclusion. In our path forward, these will be the heart of everything that we're going to try to do at the police department. And when he was asked the one thing that he believes needs to change to reimagine policing, the new commissioner's answer was simple. We need to listen. Live in Boston outside police headquarters, Karen Anderson, 5 Investigate.